full credit. Plot twist. It was Tom the whole time. It was my fault. I did it. Comic fam, thanks for joining us today. It's Comic Karma. This is the show where we kind of have some fun. We kind of we kind of let him loose, man. Yeah. It's like Footloose, man. You ever watch that movie Footloose? I actually have not seen Footloose. Dude, it's actually surprisingly good. Even, yeah, no, I'm just going to leave it there. Well, okay, it's a dancing movie, for real, which is nothing wrong with dancing, dude. I like dancing. I like busting a rug, tearing a rug. Wait, what is it? I don't know. I don't really dance. <laughs> Busting a rug sounds like it's derogatory. <laughs> yes, it also sounds uh, like... Taren, you're Taryn Rug. I like think your parents the... are going to get mad at you for you broke some furniture or something in the oh house. Oh my gosh, dude. When was the last time your parents got mad at you for breaking furniture or doing something in the house? Like, you accidentally did something. While you think about it, I'll let you know about how I used to be into skateboarding. And one of the first, like, real times that I got my mom just super angry was when I decided to like take apart my skateboard and all the grease and stuff That's on the not carpet where I thought in the you were living going room. With this. Oh. I just decided to like, all right, I gotta take the bearings out of the What's wheels. In here? I gotta take the screws out. And there's like grease all over the trucks of the board. I'm just like I'm putting them on the on the carpet. Watching Disney Channel at the time, you know, like the like the original Disney stuff. And I'm like getting my my bearings on there. Are you like, watching Brink? Heck yeah, dude. Should have been watching Brink at the, at the, at the time. Dude, uh, famous Jet Jackson. Comic Ooh. fam, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, for real though, we're back. Comic Karma's back because you know what? Y y we got to bring the heat and it's all because the community is doing some crazy stuff. Generosity. We're giving away like 20 things this show. Technically. Technically, we give away a lot more than that on this show. But we yeah. have 20 giveaways over this past year that have not been claimed, and we're going to claim them all today. We have breaking news. Uh -huh. We will be announcing breaking news on this show today. And it's not even our news. It's Peach Momoko news. And it's through a publisher that gave us images that we're going to show you for the first time, which, you know, we're big Peach Momoko fans. We did a whole list on Peach Momoko, Ryan. We did a whole list, dude. And then we did like a follow up about her magazine comic appearances. We did do that. Some heavy metal stuff. That's right. Feels like forever ago. Well, they saw it and they're like, hey, you guys are a fan of Peach. Why don't you guys do our reveal and announcements? I'm like, all right, let's do it. And I'm looking at my post office box and boxes keep showing up because the fam keeps wanting to be super nice, super generous and send out comic books to the community. So. Ryan, explain Comic Karma. What's going on? People are sending in comics in. Why? Because, uh, I, really, I don't feel like I know why. You know? I don't I, know I what goes through the why. mind of, of a Comic Karma person. Have you ever wanted to just give something to someone for no reason? Just you want to be nice to somebody? No. You never felt like that, Ryan? No, I guess I'm just an, a, a big ass. Yeah. Is that is that yeah, how you would describe I'm, yourself? A big? A big one. Ass. Yes. Bigger the better. A big, you're a big, large. Yes. Grande. Grande ass. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just said that, dude. I did. Comic Fam, you heard internet. it here, live on the internet. Ryan is saying he's a grande ass. Comic Karma is when we get sent... I should know how to explain this better. I do this every you damn week. You do this week. every week, but I like it. And uh, it's going to get worse, Comic Fam, because we're doing a independent oh review. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to make Ryan explain what we read, because it's freaking crazy. But anyways, please, please keep going. He what does is, this what to is, me, just a, just a twist of the knife. I, I am. He likes to I'm watch doing me it. suffer. Talk about our mystery mail call. And the generosity of the individuals who support what we do. Yes. So uh, we have a mystery mail call. It is a subscription service that you can get from us to receive randomized comic books in the mail. And, you know, we supply the comics for that. But you guys have also been like, here, let me send some comic books in. So these guys in Washington can send them back out in their mystery mail call service. Exactly. And a lot of the times these notes say, hey, I read this. And I really enjoyed it and I wanted to pass it along. Or, hey, I had a double. I had a triple. I wanted to pass it along. Sometimes these have a note in it that says, hey, it's from this person. Give me a shout on, I on IG. Sometimes there's no notes because they didn't want to tell anybody. They wanted to just do it because they were being nice. Also known as karma. And comic karma is a real thing. And we have some boxes here from the fam. We have a lot of giveaways to do and some announcements. I think we should get into it. Comic fam, hit the subscribe button if you're new to the show. We do this video. We're trying to do it every week. You guys are keep sending comics in. So basically, it's up to you. If you want to see this video every week, yeah, keep sending the comics in. And we'll if keep you get sick out. of it, then stop sending and stuff. And then we'll be like, oh, we got the message. No, they don't love us anymore. I think we should open up this one first. Why don't we do that, Ryan? 
Let's do so, it. Break open that box. Let's see what's in there while I say hi to some peeps in the chat. We got Rob E. Uh, Rob. It says Ron. Ron E R B says woohoo. Thank you for woo-hoo. joining us today, woo-hoo. Mister. That's just a bag and a board. Mondo Douglas. Oh my gosh, I can't read. We have Mondo Delgado. Thank you, Mondo, for being here. Bearded Comic Pro. Thanks for being here. Anthony Peron says love Peach. So I think he's going to be excited about what we're about to announce here in a little bit. We have Lalo Gonzalez who says, "What's up, Comic Tom and Fire Guy Ryan? Showing some love all the way from Chicago." Ryan, isn't this story we're going to read today based in Chicago? It is. So maybe this person in the chat will will have firsthand knowledge of the story that we're about to to relay to you. Shout out Agu Rhythm Perry Agu. Comics. Comics with Bueller. The wrench is here today to help us, you know, supporting our show last minute on Love this you, stream. Thank you so much for being here. Um, and you know what? This was just today, one comic in this box. There's one comic. What's going on? I have se- I, honestly, I can't tell you what's going on. I feel like I've missed something. I have seen this comic. I don't want to say all over Instagram in I'm the intri- last week or two. I'm intrigued. But I have seen this single issue enough times, and I'm hoping somebody in the chat is going to be able to explain this to me because I do not know. Oh, hold on! Before you, what's going before on? Before you say it, I think what we need to do is get the third camera on screen. Boom. There you go. Okay, what do we got? I don't know. Can you explain? <laughs> Dude, what is going on with this? So you don't know either? I don't know what's going I've on. I've seen it all over Instagram. Why? People are sending us Yarn Man. There's no note in there? There's, There's no, no name on the, on the box? Okay, there's something going on with this book. This is, this is what's going on. It's like a okay. ghastly grinner. Comic fam, we need you guys in the chat to explain to us what is happening with this issue. Because this is the only thing I know, okay? This is the only thing I know, Ryan. If you were to say, yo, do you know more than one thing about this? I'd say no, because there's only one thing I know. What's the thing? Someone said, jokingly, Tom, why isn't Yarn Man on the top 10? That's what I saw. We're going to make it get there. We're going to make it happen. And I don't know what that means. It almost sounds like a threat. (laughs) I don't get it. I don't know. And I'm comfortable admitting that I don't know. I don't understand. So somebody explain for us. I don't have a feeling that Yarn Man is coming. I don't have a feeling that Marvel is about to do some D23 announcements type of stuff. I don't know why I pulled D23 out of my out of my ass. I, I wanted to say ass because you said ass earlier. We, we are now allow ass we on the show. We can say ass now. Yep. Take that, mom and dad. Mom, mom said it was okay. Mom said it was okay. That's right. No, but it, I don't think Yarn Man is, uh, is, is San Diego Comic Con 2020 spec, dude. Not that I know of. Did you hear something? Comic fam, have you heard something that we don't know? We need to hear in the chat. They're right laughing now. at us. I feel See, like they know. What what is going on? Why are you laughing? What is what about this comic is funny to the community? I don't get it. It's Yarn Man. And here's the thing. This is what's funny too. Cause I think that they're joking about this being a character, because they're like, oh, it's Yarn Man, and it's so silly, right? Yarn Man is so silly. People who knit, it's so funny. Oh. Right? You're wearing but guess what? yarn on your head right now. Guess what? This hat. Is that what they're doing this? Is this a know. knitting? Are they making this fun of you for knitting? This was knitted by somebody I know. This reminds me. I knit hats for people. I knit. So if you're telling me that I'm supposed to laugh at this because this is like funny spec because Knitting's of yarn cool, man. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And my mom told me that. So what? It must be true. So it must be true because my mom's right. I don't know if John's Comics with Kids is still in the chat, but I know a while ago, a while ago, uh, Alec at Whitewell Comics was joking about like Susan. There was some kind of spec they were joking about, like making some character that doesn't matter pop when they shouldn't. And I feel like that's kind of what's happening here. See, this is the thing that it's like, you know what? Should we read this for our independent comic next week? Maybe we have to. I mean, you know what? This is a... Let me see here. It's Don Simpson, Kitchen How Sink Comics. How independent is this? That seems pretty damn independent. Kitchen Sink Comics. I've never read it, but you know what I got to say? I appreciate you sending it in. I don't know what to make of it, but Comic Fam, let me know in the comments section below. We do like to do giveaways on the show, and I'll enter you to win. If you hit the like button for us and you're subscribed. What do we do with it? <laughs> Should we put, There's we no no. See, that's, the, that's, that's the part. That it is a little concerning. That there's no note. There's is that no a gift? Note. I don't think that's a gift for one of us. I, we're gonna. What's well, what we're gonna do? We like to give away the independent comic books that we read. Don't sure. We? So I'm thinking we need to read this next week if the comic fam explains what's going on, and then we'll come back to the mic. We'll read it and we'll give you our thoughts. What do you think? 
I'm I'm very interested to to read Yarn Man. I never thought I would actually see Yarn Man. Just a couple times on Instagram, and that would be it. But I, the 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 chat is laughing. I I, I feel like I missed the joke. I, I don't I don't know. That's the story of my life. Okay, Ryan. Born missing the joke. I'm thinking right now we're gonna do it, dude. I think we should do it right now, man. What's happening? I think we should do the major announcement. I think we we, we should do the breaking news. What do you think? Let's break it. Courtesy of Dynamite Comics, you're gonna know Dynamite. Because of their awesome titles, they're handling Vampirella. All right? They're handling Red Sonia. They're handling Betty Page. Like, mm-hmm. for real. You wonder like, who has the rights to Betty Page? Dynamite does, and they're putting out comic books. They also have the rights to the boys. Shout out the boys. They do. It's one of my favorite comics. Like, I mean, not my all time favorite, but it's definitely up there. <laughs> it's, I really like the boys. I, there's a lot of. Re- See, I have to be careful. If I say it's my favorite all the time, the people are going to be like, wait a minute. How many favorites? That's does at he least have? six favorites that he said. You can have six favorites. You can have six friends. Six favorite friends. Sure. I feel like the boys. <laughs> Am I your best friend, Tom? <laughs> like, like, what does that mean? <laughs> Who's your best friend, Tom? Jeff is my best friend. Just my Tom. best friend. But you know what? Maybe one day, Ryan, you'll be my best friend. Keep working hard, and soon you'll be my best friend, my number one friend. All right. Well, comic fam, we have Dynamite Comics reaching out because they saw that we were fans, supporters of Peach Momoko. Uh, Just one of the best artists in the game right now. And so many peeps are getting into comics. So many people are into collecting comics because of this artist. And that's what gives us the privilege to even do any type of commentary on it. Because if we can get even one person into a title, then it's it's awesome. Like, it's, it's, it's an accomplishment. You know, so I was re- reached out. Shout out Dynamite. They're doing covers with Peach and they're going to be announcing a lot more as time goes on. But as of right now in August, when you put your orders in, you have time to go and hit your previews, go to your LCS and put the order in for Vampirella issue number 15. Mm. OK. And the reason why Vampirella 15 is dope is, yes, we're going to show you the Vampirella cover. Holy smokes. Ryan. I know you can see it right now, but the comic fam can't see it. I haven't clicked the button yet. We've but... got multiple screens here. It's on one of the screens. I'm looking right at it, and you guys can't see it yet, and I have that much power over you right now. How do you feel looking at that? I feel great. Do you feel like Thanos with the, with the gauntlet? More or less. Yeah? Mm-hmm. You're like just like shaping reality with your hands? I am. I'm not. You are. You have the buttons. I do have the buttons. I could click it, but I'm not sure exactly which button it is, and I don't want to shut the stream down mm-hmm. like somebody. Well, you know, I know I just did that, but here's <laughs> the thing. Vampirella 15. This book is going to be a great jumping on point for anyone looking at starting to read Vampirella, especially because zero through 14 was a saga in itself. And it was an awesome saga. And if you want to have a opportunity to jump on, you can jump on with the Peach Momoko cover that we're about to reveal in three, in two, in one. What's up? Countdown. Oh, my gosh. I wouldn't have thought to combine Peach Momoko and Vampirella, but like, duh. Dude. Do you remember how many of the just straight up female lead shots were on the cover? Just pinup shots that we were commenta- commentating on that were key status in the industry just because of her ability to draw the female form. She does figure. do it good. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. And this right here, her on the moon, looking gorgeous. And you can tell it's Peach. This is like one of the 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 things that I enjoy most about artists that break through the barrier in collecting because you there's a lot of great artists man there's a, there's a ton of great artists but some artists really do like leave their mark i've seen so many peach from Oko covers i feel like i can just like i can pick it out like i picked out mike and laura all read last week on the show with my superpower that was a good superpower i recall that's right but you know what we have more covers to look at because here's the thing they sent me more pictures and this is this is what's intriguing they said, hey, Tom, here's eight pictures. We're only going to tell you about one of the covers. And then there's like variations of the color covers. And then there's other covers that they didn't even comment. On. Like, they didn't even say anything about it. They're just like, here. And you know what it says on this email? Were you, what did it say? It said you you can share whatever you want out of this email. It's all okay. fair game, I okay, think hold is on, what they hold said. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ryan, 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 Ryan. Uh-oh. Ryan, 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 Ryan. We need to bring it back. We need to bring it back. Hey. I need them to see you because they need to know. The community needs to know that we are being authentic, that we're not lying, that we're not just taking information from the publisher and they're like, keep this on the DL and then we're just running with it. I don't want to harm our relationships with our publishers, damn it. Our friends in the community. I don't want to harm anything. 
I'm also a terrible so, liar. So, so what did the email say? It said you, you can uh, you got fair uh, anything in this email is fair game. Anything in the email is fair game, even if they haven't announced stuff. I don't know if that's a hundred percent accurate quote, but yeah. Well, you don't know you have what? it like up here on the tab? Oh uh, well, you know what? Don't it's, show it's, the people. It, it, it's too late now. It's, it's too, too late. late now because look at this. I don't know what this means. I'm I, I am assuming it means that there may be a sketch version of this of this cover, but regardless, oh, hey. we're seeing like preliminary work or some type of sketch version. I don't know. But what's this? Ooh, I like this one. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yes. I like that freaky skull in the background. I know, right? Got a lot Line happening work. here. There's a lot happening. Let's actually zoom it in us a little bit. Whoa. Boom. Okay, so I would have been fine with this. I'm like, okay, we've got some prelim work. This is gorgeous. But here's the thing. No. There's yeah. the color. Oh, my gosh. Like, comic fan, did you see the yep. transition? I'm going to have to make you watch it again. And boom. This right here is what Peach Momoko does to a cover. She makes it pop. Just stunning work, stunning color work. It's signature as her pens are and pencils and crayons and colored pencils and all the different tools that she uses that we know she uses, the watercolors and all. Does she use crayons? Do people use crayons? I don't think, you know what? I don't know if she actually uses crayons still, but she specifically mentioned to me in my like interview that I did with her, you know, like through DMs, like she specifically commented on how she loved using crayons growing up when she was huh. training to draw. I would not have guessed many comic artists would use crayons, but that's okay. I'm not an art person, right? You would think, but here's the thing. I thought that was it. I thought that's all they were going to send me because they said Peach Momoko, they said Vampirella, right. and that was it. But then they sent more pictures, and I was legit like, "Yo, guys, I love the the pictures. I love the commentary. I love you guys sending me stuff this way." And like, you know, it's cool. We're big supporters here. We're a big fan of of these titles and these IPs, right? But they sent more pictures. And I'm like, yo, you got to just don't don't tell me something that I can't talk about. Right. Because we'll talk about it. Because I want to talk because I want to talk about it. Like you're going to show me something. Expect me to want to take it to the mic. Don't just be like, here's a carrot. And, and, and in three months, we'll follow up with you. You don't forget. And I'm like, is that what is that what's going on right here? They sent us carrots. Did they send us carrots? Is that Ryan what loves carrots. I do eat carrots a lot. Dude, that's not a lie. It's good for your vision. That's what they it's say. got vitamin A. So what it's we're going to do, vitamin. so, so, all of them. so I was a little concerned. I'm like, did he send me too much? What's going on, homies? Like, what can I talk about? And he said, no, everything's fair game. So what the hell is this? <laughs> That's Red Sonia. I believe it is. I that, can tell by the nothing, coins. Nothing in this email says that he's doing Red Sonia work. Yeah, there, was, there was no, I mean, they gave us a little blurb about Vampirella, about how it's, you know, the 15th. 16th issue the 15th issue but the 16th yeah because there's a zero there's a zero and you know there was actual information about the other one but they just slipped in these red sonia images here so red sonia is is getting a peach they're getting a peach a peach cover cover. or or two right is there Um, there a color version of this i'm actually i'm I'm actually quite surprised right now are you frozen um just a little bit but it's okay because you know it's gonna gonna make it happen you know so here's the thing i thought that that was it she can draw. And it's not because I thought this. Ta-da. Boom. So we have Peach Momoko getting her experience at drawing like Red Sonia like crazy. Uh, there's a freaky melted skull back there too. See, this is the kind of stuff that I'm talking about. What were we discussing about Peach Momoko on our videos over and over again? Right. Basically pleading to the universe to null the Black Winter, I don't know, correct me, I don't even know anymore, that Peach Momoko needs to not just do more work, she needs to do horror. Horror comics. Grotesque imagery. That's a creepy creepy face-melting skull back there. That's kind of... Show me death. Show me eyes protruding out of the skull, out of the skull, just like in her original work in Heavy Metal Magazine. Someone give her work where she's drawing horror. Bringing it all the way back. I'm bringing it all the way back, Ryan, because this isn't all... What the heck is this? What is going on at Dynamite? Ew. That. That's some eyeballs out of the head Peach Momoko stuff. (laughs) That's what I was just talking about, dude. Ah. What's going on? What is that? Dynamite. I I don't get it. I don't know what you guys are up to, but when you send me this, you got me intrigued, and, gotta, then, uh, well, and then and then you just do this. You, you, you tease me. 
think that's like the most clothes I've ever seen Vampirella wear too. Does she have shoulder pads? It's just like got this like armor, almost like a witchblade looking like thing the going destroyer, on. Destroyer, like Thor. This right here are zombified covers. Something's going on at Dynamite. I don't know what's up. They haven't announced anything, but fans of the mm. show, fans of Peach Momoko. If you're a fan of Peach Momoko, you're fan. We you know we're a fan of you guys. You know, we're all friends here. This is all a big, a big circle. Yes. It's a that's, big group. That's what, they, that's what they call it. So we want to give a big thank you to Dynamite for reaching out, giving us an opportunity to like, to like, yo, you guys want to like debut Peach Momoko covers on your show? Are you kidding me? Yes. Yes. Please. Of course we do. And shout out Peach. It's the year of the Peach. We've been saying it all year. Let's do it. Comic fan. We got Yarn Man. We got Peach Momoko. We have Red Sonia. We have Zombified Vampirella. What's happening? Ah! Oh my gosh. We need Ryan to talk about an independent comic book right now. Oh, and man. This is what's fun. This is what's really fun. Putting Ryan on the spot every I'm day. I'm putting Ryan on the spot because Ryan, this is this is what's going on. Okay. What I love about comic books, what I love about independent comic books, what I love about people just living their dream, dude, taking their creative to the page, paying for it to get print. All right. They're good. risking it all. They're just putting their their hands out to the community and saying, hey. Here's something I made. I made this. Love me. I made this. Experience me. Look at me. Feel me. Enjoy me. That's what the comic book oh. should be telling you. And hey. right here, we have someone doing just this. Putting their creative to the page. And it's called Building a New Chicago. And it's called Uncanny. You get it? Uncanny. Like canine? Like canine. I did not get that until you just <laughs> rubbed it in my face just now. So maybe I'm the dumb one here. So we are going to go through Uncanny building a new Chicago. Now, Ryan, explain to us why we're covering this first. Because this isn't the <sighs> first independent comic book. And it sure as hell won't be the last. Send us your comics, comic fam. We want to talk about them all. Why are we doing this? <laughs> Why are we doing this? No, it's fun to spotlight people. Yeah. Like that's really it. Like, you know, the uh the big publishers get enough of the enough of the pie. Dynamite takes up the whole damn show. Yeah. Peach Momoko covers. It's pretty dope. So we figure if people are gonna send us some smaller scale stuff that they've created on their own, why not? Why not show it? You know, give it a little bit of a boost. You're gonna love this comic fan because this this is like one of those times, like, I'll be sincere. There's no such thing. As a bad comic book, in my opinion. Now, you can have your own opinions, comic fam. I don't think there is. Because a comic yeah. book, to me, is an experience. Okay? Oh, no. And when I was standing over this table, watching Ryan experience this comic book that an independent, like, someone in the community made, I was laughing my ass off. I was enjoying myself as if we were watching a, a, a movie together or we, something. We used to do that. And we used to do that, man. We used to have fun. We used to be friends uh -huh. before my mom found out I was hanging out with you again. And she got mad because she said that you were not a good friend to have. I'm such a troublemaker. You know, I'm a bad influence. Ryan's a bad boy. I like to go out and break car windows for fun. He has a leather jacket he typically wears that has a couple too many chains on it. Three chains. I call them three chains. <laughs> <laughs> totally original. <laughs> three chains, Ryan. <laughs> so today I had Ryan, three chains, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> read on my, my new my new uh instagram name. ff comics and it's for mature readers damn it it is it's a very mature <laughs> it's a mature comic book dude so ryan drink your your uh, uh your agua out of your green lantern mug there it's so hot in here i can't not drink water oh my goodness it is uh, kind of, it's bad comic fam it's hot i it is very hot but what we're gonna do is we're gonna Ryan. So you're going to flip through. Can you just open okay. the open the book? Just okay. give it to page one. Okay. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, talk to me. While reading this book, we were sitting in the kitchen counter and flipping through it. And there were a couple times throughout it where we looked at each other and we're like, what are we going to say about, about this? What do we do? How do we gently break this book down? You know? Yeah. I don't want to seem like we are being mean. No. Which is not what I want to do. But here's the thing. Some things that get made that make you go, what the heck am I reading? Mm -hmm. It's intentional. Yep. There's a different flavor of comics sometimes. Yeah. It's like 
dark humor to a degree. It's that you got you can't not look away. Right. You know and what I'm saying? I'm not sure exactly what they're going for with this, but I get I get like vibes of Axe Cop or some kind of like stoner comedy. Yeah, a little bit. I, I, I get, dude, I get a little There's bit of There's not a lot of backstory line. either. It's It just drops you in here and you see this dog and she, this dog, I don't even know what the dog's name is. I don't, I don't believe the dog was ever given a name at any point. She has superpowers. This is the first thing that I noticed is that the front of this book is like there's a dog and it's a superhero dog and it's... You know, it's definitely like the whole thing, even the, the trade dress was was colored in and made like this whole thing could have been an actual comic that someone did on like computer paper and then they printed it. Like, this is what it looks like. You have on this page spread of destruction, there's a dead body in the left corner. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, my God, is there like on fire? It's not for kids. And is, that body is, is on fire. I did like, not notice that either. There are so, flames on it. So I thought, all right, this is weird because like the first page you think. This is going to be about like a, a dog. kids comic, like yeah, and like a talking kind of a, dog. And it's like it's Dalmatian, you know. It's kind of, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a style. I it's, do a it's, super it, dog comic. The the text itself, notice, is hand done, and this mm -hmm. is that's something that I like that. I I like that too, Ryan. Lettering, air high five. So what's cool about that is lettering is its own art. There's a handful of artists that I've like started to enjoy that much more, finding out that they have. A, like a passion for doing their own lettering. I believe Enzo Garza does a lot of his own lettering too. I could be wrong about that. Off the cuff here, comic fam, hit the like button. I need your support, but he needs it. it it's pretty cool. You know, it's it looks different. You're like, oh wait a minute, this is like very intentional. Like the words matter almost a little bit more because it's not a computer or it's not a letterer. So Ryan, explain what's going on in this picture. It's a it's a super dog. Right, mm -hmm. like and the dog is flying through the city. Looks a bit. He looks a little big. There's a. You know, he looks. I Ryan, can't, I'm not an artist. I can't, I can't draw this. I can't draw anything I can't close draw to this. this. However, the first thing that Ryan said was, "Is this a giant dog?" And I could not stop laughing. It's the perspective. Thing. I'm like Ryan. No, it's not a giant dog. It's, it's just a perspective. It's thing. really close to us, and the building is really far away. However, it looks like the dog is as large as the building for some reason. The dog is flying. Yes. The dog soaring through the skies is a hero. Okay. So, yes. Somehow. Okay. Ryan. Now, aside from this dog being badass, it, it, you know, saving people's lives. This person has to have a dog, by the way, because these, these close-ups are a little I, too accurate. I, I like to think that this person has a Dalmatian. Like a model. Like this, like this dog. Maybe is, their is, dog has powers. Maybe this is a true story. Do you think that this is like a, like someone's actually living a life with this animal and they're having these struggles and they're like, shoot, I just have to like write about it to get it out there the world needs to know about my superpower dog <laughs> <laughs> the world needs to know or this is like a really really bad this situation looks a lot different on our little monitor here by the way like <laughs> this this i'm seeing your guys's view of this comic and all i can see is the car flying through the the air i mean that's what it looks like man it looks like the car someone throws a car at the dog yeah dude there's I would like to say that no, there is no animals hurt in the drawing of this comic book, but there is straight up some like borderline animal abuse that this independent content creator sent us. There is animal abuse in this comic. Okay, so Ryan, explain the explain this page. This, this is guy. this this is a very important page. Uh, a little bit of backstory would have been nice, you know. This like like issue zero would have been. I don't need backstory. Would have been very helpful. I don't need backstory, dude. This is this a, is all I need. One armed, half lizard guy this right? is the part of the vi of the comic that i got stoked about dude at first i was confused i'm like what's going this on is this a is a super dog this is a children's story and, and the dog swears around. a couple times so it's like it's not that much of a children's story and then there's this one armed abomination that enters yeah, the scene i don't know how to even really describe him he's kind of like cyborg superman in a way can you please describe this panel here what does it say i want you to read this panel this if you don't mind this one right uh, here yes what does the dog say <clears throat> So uh, this guy's name is Abaddon, leader of the Reckoning, this, this big evil guy. And he comes what down, was his name? Abaddon. <laughs> what do you say? Like leader of the Reckoning. <laughs> is that what he sounds like? Um, yes, in my head. This is what does the, what is the, the, the dog sound like? Does the dog, apparently the dog speaks. Uh huh. So I want to hear the <laughs> dogs. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like that, so like what that. does the dog say? But with words. So what does it say? The subtitles. <laughs> no, it's talking. Oh, okay. It's barking. It's but barking, subtitles but subtitles at the bottom. So in this universe, does everybody understand dog? Of course. This isn't. This is Chicago. This is real. This happened. <laughs> Abaddon 
leader of the reckoning, <laughs> landed in Chicago to cleanse the city. And the super dog, who, as far as I know, still remains unnamed, says, Cleanse? Really? You smell like meatloaf and period blood. <laughs> if anyone needs cleansing, it's you. <laughs> so every now and then this comic will just like take a turn and get real <laughs> vulgar and graphic and weird. And <laughs> smells like meatloaf and period blood. So that happened. <laughs> that, that, so that was the moment where I said, Ryan, I need you to just explain this story on the we mic. We absolutely need um, to read this comic. Comic fam, this isn't us. I didn't pick this comic. You sent this to me. So I'm very happy that we got to read this, by the way. I, dude, I'm loving this comic book, yes. dude. I'm freaking stoked about Here's this. Here's the animal abuse that we were talking about. This is about. the laser beams coming from Abaddon, striking our Dalmatian. He's got one arm, by he, the way. Yeah, Abaddon. Abaddon this is why I want issue issue zero. Like, there's some like really who, important who, backstory here that I would like to know. Like the yeah. dog's name. <laughs> who? You know, how, why the dog is like this? I know. Look at this scene. This is he the just, bad one. This is the this is the Abaddon. Dog. Straight up. Did you ever do you remember um the jerky boys? No. Did you ever listen? Comic fan, did you ever listen to the jerky boys? This was a back in the day when CDs were all the rave and you wanted to get your comedy on a CD, you would have to do creative stuff. You can either go the Dane Cook route and Ugh. release a special and go viral mm -hmm. on MySpace or whatever, or you can do what the jerky boys did. Shout out to all the members who know what that is. And they would prank call people. And one of the prank calls was the guy calling somebody random going your daughter came to my house and she kicked my dog <laughs> and okay. I'm going to call the police. <laughs> and they're like, uh, I don't think up. my daughter did not do any of that. And he's like, no, I saw her. She came to my house and she kicked my dog and it keeps it going. This is what we have. The situation. Abaddon is kicking the dog. It is terrible. Only in comic books. And look at that. This is like straight vertical shot. Like this is like an upper uppercut yeah he got that dog pretty good <laughs> it's pretty crazy it's pretty crazy uh, now explain to me ryan um what was i would say because uh, there's a there's this there's there's a reveal here that i think is very important that's going to set the stage because mm -hmm. during this fight we have kind of a godzilla moment and you don't get that very often in mature comic books random comic books especially independent comic books from the fam what's the godzilla moment you're referring to well during battle you have this scene that takes place abaddon with his one arm oh striking yes. Our heroine. Yes, but she expands she's, yeah, the jaw. She like unhinges her jaw like a boa constrictor. <laughs> like a, like, dude, it's just like a boa. And just I was gonna say it like fist. a snake. Yeah, catches the 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 fist, mm. and then kamehameha out of the mouth. She does like a Goku move out of her mouth. That's right. So this comic has <laughs> completely lost all sense of any seriousness it may have had, but which puts it in a completely different realm. Which I enjoy. Which is why we're so stoked to see that there's this also this like this level of, hey, this dog is here to help protect Chicago to make yes. it a better city. However, who watches the Watchmen? Who watches the Dalmatians? Yeah, this dog has like a moment of self reflection here at the end. Like I have too much power. The world, you know, like we need we need a way to prevent me from going rogue. Yeah, someone's got a very keep serious him in check. reflective moment here for the dog. And boom, the unnamed dog. We also have an unnamed person that's going to be entering the story. And yes, we have probably dog fighter, dog puncher. Uncanny. That's the name of the of the comic. It was a wild ride, comic fam. And I had not a, what I was expecting. So here's the thing, Ryan. At all. I wasn't expecting that either, but you want to know something I really wasn't expecting? And I did not reveal this until just now. Ryan has no idea that this is happening on Comic Karma. Shout out to the over 170 people joining us today, mm. by the way. What's this? I'm scared. You tell me what this is. Oh, snap. It's Uncanny number two. I have. It's the sequel. Uncanny issue number two that we will read about and discuss TBD. Some future date. That's right. The story continues. Oh, I'm so excited. Dude, how do you feel about that? Thank you I so was, much. Shout prepared. out Fred Funs or Funes. Funs? Fred Funes. <laughs> right? That looks like Funes. I think Funes because uh, there is a... So some funds doesn't make sense. Yeah, Funes. Funes. Fred Funes. Thank you so much for sending us copies of Uncanny. We're going to keep them together until we cover the second issue and then we will do a giveaway of both. That's going to be fun. 
I'm excited Uncanny for that. Uncanny was, was, really, was, was a great surprise. I had a blast. Mm-hmm. Did you have a blasty blast? I did. Comic fam, did you have a blasty blast? I went out. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I'm getting better at like stopping myself from saying something really stupid or inappropriate like mid-sentence. I don't so. believe it. Here you yeah, go, it just happened, so believe it. All right, man. Here we go. Woo. What do we got in there, Ryan? Package number two of Comic two. Karma. Thank you so much, Comic Fam. We appreciate your generosity. A lot of these comics this, are your comics. We want to know this is how you what do you it. have to say. What is it? Oh, look at this. Can read on air if desired. That This right here. At the top. They put it on the top. So thank you. I can't tell you how many times, Comic Fam, that we get a letter that's like at the very, very end. By the way, this was all personal, personal, Please highly don't personal. Read this. Don't read this. At the very, very end. And we read the person's life manifesto their deepest darkest secrets on the mic for all these people to see all of them to hear and then we feel terrible 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 i'm just kidding it's never been that drastic we've actually never had that happen however it does help if you say you can read it on the mic at the very top gentlemen tom jeff ryan russ and nick i love all the content on the channel i love the hot key videos the live streams the podcast and the comic karma stuff thank you i thought i would send what i could to show appreciation and say hi hey i think you guys are great people I hope you guys, as well as all your family and friends, stay happy and healthy. Best of luck in all your dreams and aspirations. Then he signed his name. And I can't read cursive as well as I would like. Looks like Neil. Yeah, it says like... Uh, With a G? Is it Neil Gaiman? Neil something geek responsibly or not. I'm not your mom. That's good. I like it. Ooh, what yep. is this? I was looking at that just I, now. I'm thinking that's probably mine. Ooh. Look at this. Oh, wow. You it's really good, too. It says, Neil, here. It says, Tom, you are a great man, and I admire you very much. May all your dreams come true. Wow. You are a great man, Tom. Wow. What Number a, one. What a nice gift that is. Holy smokes. I, is there a name on this? Like, I want to make sure to say his name right. I think it's I Neil. It might be Nick. It's, it it's, could be it's Nick. N-I- uh, Nick, Neil. I don't know. It, it doesn't say here, but you know who you are. Dang, you wrote your you wrote on the box enough. Like, f- fragile, handle carefully, pretty pleased. You're keeping all the content safe. I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. And this is... You didn't have to do this, but I'm going to treasure that. Thank you so much. That's, that's a, a good that's one. A very, very cool thing to do for me. I, I'm, uh, I'm very grateful. I'm glad somebody else. That's so cool, dude. What a nice that. thing to say. That is cool. That's really cool. I'll keep that forever. That's really dope. What do you got yeah. over here? Some more stuff in there. That it. Someone Boom. else making good use of all their plastic bags, just like I do. What do you use your plastic bags for? Cat litter? No, I fill disgusting. Up, I fill up a drawer in my kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. You, know, you fill up your drawer in your kitchen just for bags? fun. Do you, is that why you don't have silverware in your home? I eat out of plastic bags. <laughs> you know, you put all the food into the bag you, and then you just... Yeah, you either do that or you do what Ryan does most of the time, especially with cereal. You put your hand in the bag and then you use your hands to eat. So you're just eating the cereal, you're palming it. Mm-hmm. But it's not gross. No, you take a bag. Because you... Oh, you, gotta... you show them. Show them what you do. You take the bag. Let's show them what you do. Yes. And you dump a bunch of cereal in the bottom. And then just like, just like normal, like a bowl. Like you, you do. Know, Nothing... Cereal and then milk on top and then you close it up and you just kind of mix it up a little bit and then you pop a hole at the bottom and then you drink cereal and then they, and then this is the this is what happens ryan's like leave me alone mom this is how i eat my cereal <laughs> is that what you say ryan it's exactly we talked about last week on the comic karma exactly about how, how you love it when your parents specifically your mom makes you dinner and how you like to, <laughs> she leaves it outside. I love that part of the, the show where you reveal was... how you wait anxiously for your food to be outside the door so you can smell it from the inside oh, hello. to see if it's there. Is yes. there any updates on your relationship? Sorry, Sorry what? With your, with your mother? With my mom? And, and, She's and awesome. Food? No, my mom's cool. I'm just kind of... <laughs> Ryan got super distracted over here. Is this good? This looks like a really it's, good book It looks book like to a me. good book, dude. You know what I we call that? old books. We call that a good book. Is this it's a Silver good Age? Book. Ryan, that's a good book. Is this what they call Silver Age? Ryan's like, I think this is a good book. I think this is a comic. Okay, well, yeah, you okay, look okay. This is what we're going to do. We have Silver Surfer issue Ooh. number 18. Ooh, okay. Okay. It's going back. You comic fam, you tell me if this is a good book. Because I feel like it's a good book. Silver Surfer, come good. on. 15 centers, come on. What else Seeing you got? Nick Fury down here in like pajamas? Heck yeah, man. Look at this. Silver Surfer, 17. Oh, he sent us a run. 16. He sent us a run. Are you 15. kidding me, friend? Oh. You didn't have to do that. Neil or Nick? Or... Neil or Nick. And, some, and something. Thank you so much, man. This is cool. Look at this. 
Silver Surfer 15. You got a Silver Surfer. It's just going Johnny down. Storm. It's going down. Nine. They skipped a few there, but we're we're still, oh, wow. still decreasing. Why wow. it's going lower. Comic fam. We got a ten. What's going on here? We got a nine. Dude, there's a nice stack there. How far does this go, dude? How far does this go, Ryan? I'm having, I'm having too much fun looking at these. Oh, man, dude, look at this. Silver Surfer number seven. That's what I'm talking about here. Dude, this is And a, six? Dude, oh, my goodness. Love this cover. Love this run, dude. I need to read this. We read Silver Surfer. We read so much of it. We definitely could have read more. I, I got so into this whole run. I didn't Silver give Silver Surfer, Surfer a chance five. until we did like some Starlin Surfer stuff. That's true. That's true. And then he ends it with Silver Surfer number two. Classy move. My Oh, there's more here. Classy move, my friend. Oof, there is another That's pretty another crazy, pile. man. Just like a nice Silver Surfer run. OG starting out with like issue two. Holy smokes. You know, I was just talking about how good it is to see runs. Just like, it's just something about disgusting ryan Ugh. you're disgusting i'm, a, I'm, I'm talking a, about comic book runs boy. and the first thing you think of <laughs> is like toilet humor you freaking gross person i'm an adult ryan's an adult but you can't say runs without him thinking about diarrhea <laughs> look at him laugh poop look at him laugh i'm like oh poop and he's like mm. not funny it's not grow funny. up tom you need to freaking grow up ryan disgusting they sent us more comics he did a bunch more comics in here and there's some dope comics in here we got micronauts special edition what's up let's go number one what's up let's go number one boom issue number two is this the bill mantlo yep bill mantlo goodness i they must have retold the story get some more bill mantlo goodness out there everyone needs to read it look at this I got man thing grace in the cover on micronauts micronauts those here. are two different Titles. Two different titles in How one. Does that, oh my gosh. How can two different? Ah. Holy. Okay. Wow. And then he just slips this in there. Let's Newsstand. See. Comic fam. Come on. Just right in the middle. Just right in Thinking the middle. Thinking I wouldn't notice. He's like, hey, they're just going to skim by this. We'll put it between the Micronauts uh, here's, issues. Here's some, here's some stuff. Here's some Micronauts issues. And also here's a Secret Wars 8 uh, Newsstand edition. What's up? How do you feel about a Secret Wars 8 just being in the middle of this? I feel like, a, like it was a dirty trick. Like they're trying to. They're trying to trick us. Yes. They're trying to. to that should to, be at the top or the bottom, not right in the middle, sandwiched. They're trying to see if we'd miss it. They're trying to test us, Ryan. Disapproved. We've officially needing to go on the offense here. That's right. They're attacking us essentially. I don't know. I don't how know do how we? How it. do we retaliate? I don't know. We're gonna have to send it back up. We should just send somebody a blank box. <laughs> send up a blank. Just box. say, oh, sorry, all your comics are uh, gone. Marvel, no prize. <laughs> That's right. Oh, I love these Marvel Mass uh, Milestone Edition. I can't believe someone mm. sent us secret. Nick Neal sent us Secret Wars 8. It's an N, right? We, I think it's we an can, N. We can establish that much. Boom. ASM reprint. Everybody needs it. Warlock 2. Everybody needs it. Of course, he sent it in FF1 and 2. Jim Very Lee. cool. Jim Lee goodness. Oh, my goodness. Boom and Boom Hauer. King of the Hill status. What is up? Silver Surfer Issue 2. Secret Wars 8. Multiple issues from the run. Early comics runs some it's, cool it's drawings. Nuts. You some, got you got a Hellboy. I know. It's not a sketch. That's I not got the right a gift. Word. It's in your hand. It starts, it's it. in here. There it is. Boom! Look at this. I got a sketch. It's amazing. Comic fam. This is what it is. This is what it's about. You know, comic karma. It's a real thing. You guys are a very generous community, and it's one of the reasons why I find so much. I mean, really, like I have such a, 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 a such so much fun. You know, like in, in doing what we do, because some of this is work, you know, when we're editing, when we're scripting, we're trying to get stuff right. We're like, oh, what's the date? Heck, how many times before we film today where we were like, oh, shoot, here's one random thing that we forgot to look up and we have to look up now. we got to stop what we're doing. Like it's it's sometimes it can be a happened. little tedious, but the fun parts of this hobby is is the community. It's serving these individuals on the other side of the camera, the 180 plus that randomly joined us. On a Wednesday. We appreciate you, comic fam. It's an amazing thing. We sold out of the mystery mail call this month. Oh, yeah. Like, we sold, sold out. Can't like, buy we it. got damages, and we have to, like... That's we, a thing. I was we, definitely we have to there. deal with damages now. I was there waiting for Marvel to send us more. Unboxing all of those, those uh, Empire it's, variants. It's rough. It's rough, dude. Some of them were damaged. I kept seeing more and more happen, and he was pulling more out, and they were, they were getting a little 
I don't want to get into it. It was it was not It's been a good. stressful day, yeah. but I got to say it's awesome to be here with the comic fam. And tomorrow we're going to be assembling the mail call. We're going to have like 95% of all the mail calls go out early this month. I was oh. excited to get them out early, man. That is exciting. I should actually be there for that one too, so. I know, make some content. Be able to help out for once. And if you don't get your tracking tomorrow, it means that your tracking is going to go out in a few more days because Marvel is sending us additional replacements to make up for the damaged ones because we're not about to send you a bunch of low-grade copies. You know? That would be kind of rude. Although we can't guarantee a 9.8 because no one can guarantee a 9.8. We're definitely not going to send out 7.0s, 6.0s. Like, that's not going to happen. We're, we, we're going we're gonna to either refund you or get you a copy that we can put in there and make sure you get it. So I want to thank the community this month because this was our first month back, like really, with the Marvel That's exclusive true. in the box. Um, we did a Peach Momoko secret variant. Shout out Peach Momoko for hooking us up during a very difficult time with not just a headless cover, but they teamed up. She teamed up and did a wretches cover for us of an option title. That's amazing through scout shout out to scout comics and shout out to this community. Cause we sold out regardless of if we had damages and we could have maybe sold a couple more. We got so dang close to cut off that I pulled it before we even saw the damages. And then I saw the damages and was like, Oh, I'm glad we stopped because we really are now like needing to make up for those damages. Right. We got to contact Marvel and deal with it. So I want to thank the community. Cause like selling out a couple days before is a really big deal. Um, we are on to big, big things. I like, I, I'm just excited about what's to come. We have shout out dynamite, shout out boom studios. You know, these do are, we, do we know what the, what the exclusive is for next month? We do. Do we I do. know? Have you told me yet? Uh, I think we, I think I mentioned oh! it to you, but here's the thing. I do know the exclusive for next month. I will let the I, I I'll let the community know what it is, but I won't show you the cover today. But I'll let the community know that it is an awesome comic book that I will be announcing. Oh, that's tomorrow. a relief. Okay. I know. Nah. I was, was worried it was gonna be bad. Oh, it's a I can tell you it's a future that's very imperfect. Hmm. Eh? It's kind of sounds depressing. Yeah. It's an, pessimistic. But the exclusive will be announced tomorrow because we are currently not in open enrollment. That's true. We have sold out. So we have to wait till the 16th to even announce the cover so you can join the mystery mail call. Comic fam, there's no time to wait. Just join the community. You help support in our show. No but time. We are hooking up the fam with as many dope comics as we can make. And we have some crazy stuff in the pipeline. If you thought the Peach Momoko variant was dope that we just held out till the day. Dude, I announced it and I pulled it an hour later. Yeah, that's nice of you. There was no time. There was no time. If you liked the Peach Momoko variant, by the time you processed that you wanted it, it was too late. You should have been joined. And we're going to keep bringing the heat. We're going to keep impressing the community. And we're doing it because we appreciate you guys. You give us the best job in the world. It's true. You do. Thank you. Thank you. As always, Comic Fam. Don't forget that you should be geeking responsibly, especially oh, now. Shall we do a giveaway? Because we have... We keep forgetting to we're do gonna, that. We're going to end the, the podcast, the, 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 the Comic what? Karma, right now. The show is officially over. It is. And we need to do... Why are we still here? Some maintenance. Yes. We need to do maintenance right here, okay. right now, okay? That's thing. what we're going to do. We have near 20 giveaways that we are going to announce right now. Because Ugh. if we wait until the end of the year, it will be 50. Because bags and boards giveaway at gmail.com is the email that you can send us when we get announced on the show that you won. And I have a stack of comics here that have names on them of people that we've announced, whether it's been on our, I mean, we go live, we'll do different shows, we do a lot of content. Naturally, not everybody hears their name. So right here, right now, we're gonna be able to do something we can clip off and share on Facebook and share on Instagram and let people know that, hey, you won some comic books. So let's just go through them. We should have wrote down on here what video they want it on. You know what, I can actually probably get it on the screen if you give me two seconds. Oh man. Yeah, here, I can do it right here because we have- Beautiful. Uh, yeah, as long as I don't click that button, we good. Um, we're gonna do. Here we go. Is this where we see all your tabs? Yeah, but we're we're gonna do this right, and we try <laughs> not to do that. There's so many you um, can't read what any of them are. So I know, right? That's Jeez. how you stay safe. Okay, so where on this list, Ryan, do you want to start with? Oh goodness, there's, I know it's a lot, man. There's so there's a handful that we gotta go through and make sure that they know that they won. So did you just do it through these? Like so you gotta oh, go yeah. down. There's a separate section. Okay, it's right down here for this this one. Yeah, we're prepared. We're not prepared, but you know what? It's okay because they're going to be getting comics and the show's already over. So we're just doing this to do it. Well, I know this one is from last okay, week. Okay, well, we have the names <laughs> on here. So We have the names. Okay, so here is what we're going to do too because we'll do another Don McTeague variant. Oof. 
Let him know. And she pulled the Johnny Future with the information on the back. Tell everyone Good job, how Don McTeague. Don McTeague is. They can see for themselves. Don, we appreciate you. Thank you so much for sending so many dope comics and. You're killing it. I've, I've been watching some of the interviews she'd done. She's doing like live drawing and stuff, killing it. And then also, you know, I'm a big Brian Polito fan, Lady Death and all that. You are? Heck yeah, you know, you are. It's the heavy metal version of comics, I man. I didn't know that. All right. So we're going to do it also today. Just make sure to comment. I'm going to send it, say it right now. We're doing a, a, a copy of Detective 1000, courtesy of Dom Mateague. It's signed. Mm. And it could be... Yours, 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 yours. For the right low, there. low price of free. Free comic books. Okay, so this is the giveaway we're going to be doing today. So go ahead and comment on the video itself, comic fam. Not in the chat. Got to comment on the video. And if you like the video, I want you to win this. We'll announce it next week. Let's just begin, all right? I don't want to screw around. I'm, th I'm Actually, if we can, maybe we should. Screw it. Okay, let's figure out which. Can we figure it out or is it going to be too much? This is last week's giveaway winner. How yes, about that? That's the easy one. Okay, so this is this one right here. It's I'm comic comment about. from Boom. one week ago. All right, and let's say, how about we do this? It's the fifteenth. Sure. We'll give them a month. Right. A yeah. month. Is that too long? Till August fifteenth. Is that weird? Should we is just say the end of the month? Let's do the end of the month, man. I feel like that's cleaner. I can get this out on like Facebook and Instagram. End of the month. You People got until got the like end of the month to claim. To... Otherwise, that's enough time. Enough time's already gone by, right? Like. Otherwise, it's karma. We're just gonna send them out as karma. Somehow we'll. All right. We'll put these back into circulation somehow. Travis not. Travis you the, not. You thank won from you, last week. Thank you for commenting on our Comic Karma video last week. Travis not. You're the winner of this. Don McTeague signed Detective 1000. The next person. This was a... Uh, if I can remember the video, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. Here you go. You, you handle this, Ryan. If I, can, if I can remember the video, I will try to remember it and I'll say it. I this was a top 10 down. giveaway. Nobody CR. You won X-Men 114. 114. This is a uh, first uncanny in in title. This is the first time uncanny was in title officially. Boom. Nobody CR. This was a top 10 prize. You won this. Glad Bags and boards giveaway at gmail.com. Hit me up with your address. And we're going to get this out there. We do ship overseas as long as you cover the difference. For the, yeah, for yeah. the giveaways. It's about four dollars for us to ship each one of these. So if you're if you're living in Australia and it's gonna cost forty dollars to ship it, you're covering thirty-five. All right. That's how we'll get it out there. It's the it's the agreement we did from the beginning of this. Because there's a lot of giveaways here. And, and there's a lot of people overseas. There's a All lot. Right. Nobody CR. You won X-Men one fourteen. We good with that? Let's do it. Let's roll okay. roll on. All right. Next one here. Nora Bengal. Nora Bengal, Bengal, you are the winner of this gorgeous... Did I write any of this down? I don't know, man. I thought you did. I thought I did, too. Nora... Here we go. Bengal, you won the Mall Variant by Artist Piper. That was the Mystery Mail Call video we did. Yep. It was the Mystery Mail Call video like from two weeks like ago. two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost exactly two weeks ago. Yeah, which some of these aren't like... Yeah, you know, maybe that one will hold up for a little bit. because Some of these are older. But some of these are much, 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 much older. Guy Endor... Guy Endor, you won. You won. You won this. It's signed by Alex Ross. Whoopee. Your name's on there. Marvel. Signed Alex Ross. Golden Age goodness, Podcast. but not. It's a, a, but modern oh, wow. status. It this is one, fantastic. This one is older. Podcast 29 from April 15th. There you go, man. Thanks for commenting on the video. Comic fam, comment on the video. You're going to win your giveaways. Let's do it. We have Joshua Gardner, who won my copy of Seed of Destruction. The trade paperback. That's fun. That was cool because we were doing a bunch of reading giveaways through pandemic because, hey, if you can't go to your LCS, you should at least be reading comics. What's that was up? on the same video too. Same same podcast for me. Yep. Three months ago. Okay. We also have Supra... Supra Gino. Supra Gino. This feels like some kind of bingo. Like we're doing Wheel of Fortune or bingo or something. Supra Gino. You are a giveaway winner. Comic fam, we're going through a bunch of giveaways, like 20 of them, unclaimed. If you don't watch every video we do, you may have missed one. You may hear your name in this pile. If you do, email us. It's going to be in the description, but you can just go to bagsandboards at gmail. Bags and boards giveaway. Yeah, email us at bagsandboardsgiveaway at gmail.com with your address and what you want. Supra Gino won the Spider Woman Olivia variant that we released. This was back in March. That was a March exclusive comic fam. This is months this ago. This is from a top 10 months ago. We have two different winners of a year of key collector for free. 
That's fun. I remember you announcing that and wondering how we were going to keep track of that. The Comic General Podcast 25. You won a free year of Key Collector. Comic General. Hit us up. We will get you a free year of Key Collector along with Anthony Carey. Carey. Anthony Carey. Anthony Carey, you won a year of Key Collector as well. Thank you so much for commenting on our videos and supporting what we do. Look at this. Podcast 26. I chatted about a, a, a book that I had been hunting for for multiple years, and we gave out a copy because I got two, and the person never never knew they won it. Phil Brick 83 from Podcast 26, you won the, the Starank original Starank foreign edition of Hulk issue number one from Denmark. Don't lose that sticky note. I'm going to put it back on here. Put that so back on there. Ooh. Phil Brick Ugh. 83, thank you for your support. Thank you for commenting on the foreign comics section of the video. You won this amazing comic book and notice the strength face. It's the original because it's from a foreign country where they didn't get the Marie Severin alteration. Good We're going result. even further back, dude. We got trees, a random giveaway we did. And you know what? Because it was kind of a cheaper comic book because it was like a reading recommendation. I'm throwing in an exclusive that we did just because. Why not, right? Our first exclusive? This was our second. Second exclusive. Gut Ghost was number Gut one. Gut Ghost was number this one. This was a homage My to man. the first appearance of Wonder Woman. Show's end. Our, this is the second exclusive that I did. Geek Responsibly, Big E, you won this. Well done. We also have a Stabity variant as well as a copy of The Sav. A good friend named Javin Jordan donated so many copies of this to be given away on the show. And Rob Dayton, you got to email us to get your copy. And we're also going to hook were, you up with a copy of We might be able Stabity. to skip these three because these three I can see right here. You got Gordon. You got Rob. These are from the uh, last week's video we did. Oh. Comic Karma. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Pretty sure so, we yeah, announced we them already, but so we, we're yeah, doing it. It's we okay. Might as well. Hey, we're just gonna remind you because remind you. Yeah, I want to get caught up. You're in like, the pile. I wanna, You're in the pile. I want to talk about you. Leave this video today, going. If you watch this, the, and you hear your name, you got a giveaway. You won. okay? Even if it was last week, if if it was recent, we're gonna put these aside longer than the two weeks. We're not gonna put those out of the mail call. We'll give it like a like a month buffer for those ones. Sure. But there are books here that have been sitting for like three months. Yeah. Okay. And I've mentioned people's names multiple times. So Gordon. Cordova. Cordova. Thank you. Gordon Cordova, you're winning this Black Cat J. Scott Campbell Virgin variant. We have Jive Turkey Monster who won this Don McTeague Detective 1000 variant. Can you see that we got a bunch of copies of that? It's pretty dope. I also Thanks, really Don McTeague. like Jive Turkey Monster. That's, I know, that's an enjoyable good. name. We have another copy of Show's End with a... Oh, this was one of the first indie comics that I read on the mic by myself. All by yourself. Jess Bobbenmeyer. Bo 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 Bodemeyer? Ja Jess Bodemeyer. Is that right? I think it is. Boben... Boben... Jeff Bodemeyer. Is that right? It was from yep. that Comic Con video. Bobbin Moyer. It was the one... Oh, that was the one where you read that comic. I read and it. And you gave it they away. They commented. I gave it away. Boom. Jess Bodemeyer. How convenient. You think we're almost done, but we're not. We have a handful more. The Swiftest Wolf. You're getting a copy of, that's right, the Inhikli variant that we did, Wolverine number one. This is like a low-key plug for the mail call, a bunch of exclusives that we've done that we've given away, but also that we send off in the mystery mail call. We send out, that's right, Inhikli variants. What's up? It was a long time ago. and Feels uh, good. Still feels good. The only way to get these now is through random giveaways, right? We're not like... You can't buy them off our website or anything. They're not no, going out again in mail calls. Mail call exclusive means one thing. You can only get it in the mystery mail call. Exclusive. Okay, yeah. mail call exclusive. Now, means here's one thing that I will make sure is known in the community because this goes beyond just the collector's community and it should be no surprise. But the artists who create the comics, they get comps. Very likely that Inhyuk Lee probably got a handful of copies for himself. He did the cover. Damn it. Okay. Him. I don't know the specifics on Mar how Marvel handles their comps, but I'll let you know that when I do covers through Scout Comics, I make sure that when Artist Piper produces a freaking cover for us, that she gets covers of her own comic book. So what Artist Piper does with it as the artist, if she goes to shows, if she you know does something with it, that's, that's her prerogative. That's the artist. That's like the only exception. Yeah. Other than that, 
You're not going to see Scout Comics sell a Mystery Mail Call exclusive. It's, if it's a Mystery Mail Call exclusive, exclusive, which we're only doing now. Marvel exclusives, Mystery Mail Call exclusive, you're not going to see that on a website. You're not going to see that not at all. You're not going to see a, the, the, the upcoming empire that you're going to be getting in the mail. You're not going to see that on Marvel.com. You're not going to see that on ComicTom101.com. You're going to see that in the Mystery Mail Call. Or if John Tyler freaking Christopher has a copy and wants to sell his... There you go. But we got the order for it. Artists get comps. And I'm just letting everybody know that that's a real thing in this community. So that might be an alternative way of tracking some of these down, perhaps. Maybe, Maybe. If, if John Tyler Christopher gives one away, or if he has a website, which I don't think he does. But, like, you know, who knows? You know, we, we, we give the artists their comps, and I don't bug them, okay? The easiest way is, for sure, just subscribe to the mail call, and you don't have to, like, do anything else. Exactly. So I, I feel like that's a, it's a, a important thing to, to, to throw out there, because I don't want people thinking that we don't comp the artists. Oh, yeah. Because that is not okay. If you're a publishing company, make sure your artists that do the work for you get a copy of the comic they produce. Please. Like, at the very least, send them a few issues. Come on. All right. Now, we got Ill Morn. Ish, who's also going to be getting a copy of the Wolverine and Chuck Lee Marvel exclusive. What's up? Thank you, Ilmorn. Ilmorn, reach out to us so we can send you this comic book. Just like Sean Ashley. 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 Sean Ashley. We're sending you, looks like you're getting our Gut Ghost. That is our first Variant. exclusive. That's right. This was an exclusive. This was a joint exclusive through Scout Comics. This was the first one we did. And we're sending you a Stabity Bunny variant. Two different Comic Tom exclusives. Yeah, these were Comic Tom exclusives. And then this one right here, same thing. We're sending out to Oliver Ortiz. Oliver Ortiz. We have... Boom. This might be the oldest video on here. I think so. This is com This is back in February, dude. Yeah. Oliver Ortiz. This was you, me, and Jeff doing con etiquette. That's right. It's been a minute. We're going to be doing another etiquette video Oof. tomorrow, it sounds like. Hmm. Tree update. Fingers winning a Kirby. I believe this is a one in a hundred, uh, like, secret secret incentive Jack, or something. Or gem, gem variant or something. Like, I don't know, they did something special with this one. But, yeah, it's a Jack Kirby cover on Thor 1. Donny Cates, what's up? Tree Fingers. Tree Fingers. Tree Fingers. Reach out so we can send this dope comic book to you. And then... The winner from Bags and Boards, James Pennington. We announced your, your name on the show. And I probably should have checked the email before I hit the mic here because some of you may be going, I emailed you last week. Good point. Because that does happen. Comic fam, we're busy. We're a very small team here. It's just me. You know, it's me and a couple people. This guy. He just gave me $20 and I offered to come in and, and do this video. You know, I don't even know him. That's right. $20 and like a soda pop in a can. I asked you to Sold. give me some. I asked you to do one thing for me today. Go to McDonald's, give me a Big Mac, and keep the change. I did. I and kept the did. change. All right. I bought some fries, but then but I kept the change. James Pennington. Can you say it again? Because he said it really fast. James funny. Pennington. James Pennington. That's right. James Pennington, you're the winner of this Immortal Hulk, issue number seven, graded at 9.8. Yeah. Oliver Ortiz is in the chat. There we go. You won something, Oliver. There we go. I don't remember what it was. I don't remember what it was either. Can we oh, yeah, it was the Stabity Bunny and the, and the, uh, the Gut Ghost. Oliver Ortiz, look it's at that. Be have, over there, like you, we you, just did. Hey, we, we announced you as a winner a long time ago. Here you are. And hey, look at this. You won this. So Oliver Ortiz, be an example here. Go to Bags and Boards. Give Don't away. go anywhere. Just email bagsandboardsgiveaway at gmail.com. It'll be in the description. Let me know that, hey, you won a book from the Karma video. Your name's on the, news, on the, on the notepad, so I know what you won, and we'll send it to you. Bingo. Boom. Comic fam, thank you for... All your support. Thank you for commenting on our videos. We want to make sure you get your giveaways, so we're going to go through that when we have to. We'll try to try to do this like bi biannual, probably. Biannually. Like biannually. Every six months, just announce the ones that haven't been claimed. Because if they don't get claimed by uh, two weeks or so, we're just going to... This little spreadsheet gonna... I got here is starting to pile up, and it's, all, it's a whole mess. It's a digital mess, but it's still a mess. So we wanted to make sure we got ahead of this and got some of these unclaimed books uh, announced. 
make sure to uh, make sure to comment on the video because comic fam, we're going to be doing another giveaway. We're going to keep it going with another one of these detective comics, 1000s signed by Don McTeague. They're fantastic. And we're also going to probably do an, an extra one just because we like to. So remember two giveaways for next video. I will not remember that. You, you, okay. Well here, Brian, take this, take this, put on the don't even note. remember already, put it up on there. Um, but not before I tell the comic fam to geek responsibly.